How's it going everyone? Grim here and today we are doing another unboxing but this time we're going to do a slightly different one. Normally I do unboxings for Warhammer 40k model kits and today I want to focus on this Age of Sigmar model kit. This is the Daughters of Cain Witch Elves kit. You have 10 models in it but what's interesting about this particular kit is you can see the Witch Elves that are here with their full heads of hair and their daggers. Some of them have double daggers. But you could also use this kit to make an entirely different uh, group called the Sisters of Slaughter. And that's what the ones that are depicted here. And they have whips. And instead of you know hair, they have um, these full face mask type things that cover their the top of their heads as well. You can kind of see they have like very stylized to look like uh, demons with horns or kind of evilish type things right but the body itself is pretty much the same anyway so you can make either sisters of slaughter or witch elves both of them are from the daughters of cain line they are both basically the battle line options for the daughters of cain and for those of you who don't play sigmar that's like the troops role for 40k um, so you can kind of buy this one kit and make the two different types if you want to. So that's kind of cool. That's a good thing, in my opinion. Um, if you play Age of Sigmar, you know, the Witch Elves and the Sisters of Slaughter, they're very slimmer, similar in terms of their stats. They both have move six inches, one wound. Uh, they have uh, six plus save, seven bravery. The only real difference between the two of them uh, the Witch Elves and then the Sisters of Slaughter is that the Witch Elves seem to be a little bit quote-unquote faster in terms of they have more attacks or they can do more attacks per turn. And then they have these knives, This uh, they're called Sciences, right? These knives. And so you can either make the model with one knife and a shield or dual wielding the knives like this, right? And so that, of course, changes the stats if the person just has one Sciansa knife, it's uh, two attacks. But if, they, if they're if dual wielding them, they have three attacks. Whereas the Sisters of Slaughter have these whips and these shields, right? So the whips um, really only have two attacks. And then you could do like a little dagger type thing called the Sacrificial Knife. And that has one attack. But uh, another cool thing about these particular units is that they have these shields and these shields are kind of cool they're called bladed bucklers and basically what they do is they kind of uh, add one to the saving throw so instead of a six plus save if they have the shields they're a five plus save so that's kind of cool that that's that's a good if you want to choose to make them more defensive or more offensive that's up to you right so that's kind of cool thing about them now why am i doing an unboxing on probably the only age of sigmar uh, model kit I will probably unbox well maybe not maybe, maybe there's some other ones where it's both 40k and Age of Sigmar right like so I did a Mutilith Vortex Beast unboxing a while back and uh, that's actually a Slaughter Brute in Age of Sigmar it's the same thing but it's the just depends on which game you play you call it a different thing but this is probably one of the few if not the only truly Age of Sigmar kits that I would review in terms of an unboxing and why am I doing that? Because I love to use this kit to kit bash. As you can see, this one's actually kind of old. This particular box is kind of old. I bought a whole bunch of these a while back. And I've been slowly going through them, kit bashing them, whenever I need some humanoid type model that uh, will fit on a 25 millimeter base. So something that I need something that's smaller than a Space Marine, right? So I'll use these to kit bash. So for example, if I want cultists, I can use these to make cultists. I love to use these to make Harlequin troops. I think this model is way nicer than the actual Harlequin troop models, in my opinion. And they're both very similar in terms of the dynamic poses they have, right? You can see that these are all on top of these little pedestal type bases where they they look acrobatic. They're, they're obviously jumping, standing on one foot, right? Very dexterous and acrobatic looking. But if you were to use these and then use the Sisters of Slaughterheads, they look a lot like Harlequin Troop Masks, but 
they look cooler in my opinion. They look a lot more, well, they look more devilish or more demonish, but they look cooler in my opinion than the standard Harlequin heads that come in the Harlequin troop kit. And so I love to use these to kit bash Harlequins because you can, they've already got the knives, right? They already come with these knives as you'll see when I unbox them. But then all you have to do then is put some kind of pistol in the other hand, right? And then there you go. You got yourself a Harlequin model that in my opinion looks better than the standard one. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So the interesting thing about this kit, like I said, I use this a lot in terms of kit bashing. So I've seen many of these already. But the interesting thing about this kit is not only have you two different options, but that means there's so many different bits that you can use to kit bash. Because they have all the bits to create the witch elves, or if you want, they have all the bits to create the Sisters of Slaughter. You could, they have 10 whips. So if you need a bunch of whips, they all got 10 whips, right? They all got knives, right? Look at all these knives. Some of them are dual wielding. Some of them just have one knife, right? All these different knives if you need knives. So here's what it is. It's basically this sprue set of three sprues. I'll put this off to the side of three sprues and they duplicate this. So this is exactly the same as this. And all it is, is it's a three spruce set that makes five models. So either it's five witch elves or five sisters of slaughter. And so, right, they all share the same body, but you can see, right, they all have either, they have multiple sisters of slaughter heads, 10 of those, or they have, you can see here, these are the hair, the hair pieces for the witch elves. And if you use the hair pieces for the witch elves, then you have these faces that you can put on the hair or in front of the hair, right? So in my opinion, this is really, this is cool if you want a Harlequin that doesn't have a mask. But if you want a Harlequin that does have a mask, then using these masks, in my opinion, they look much nicer. Now I know Harlequins don't have whips, but there are a lot of uh, models and a lot of units that do have some type of whip type thing. So if you need whips, they got tons of whips in this kit. You can see here that this arm has a shield built into it, the bladed buckler, right? So if you need a model that has some kind of shield, you got that there. And then you got tons and tons of knives slash swords. And the Harlequins love using their swords, right? So you could, these can fill in for the swords if you don't want to use any of like the kiss or the caress or or whatever right so if you want to use your standard sword there are tons of these right so here's the second sprue in this three sprue set you can kind of see right this is the whole body with one leg and then you would then attach a, se a separated leg to it to kind of make the whole body right you can kind of see that look how nice and detailed it is Kind of reminds me of like a belly dancer or um, like a slave Leia, right? And the reason why I like this design, you know, belly dancer, if you think about it, right? A belly dancer is very nimble, very artistic looking. The way a belly dancer dances is very provocative and seductive. And in my opinion, that's kind of like what a Harlequin is like, right? When they're jumping all around, being acrobatic because they're performers, just like a belly dancer is a performer, a Harlequin is a performer. And so I think these bodies are great for that. Okay. You can see that one as well there. Yeah. And then all of these come with this staff that doubles as a banner flag thing. So if you need a banner for anything, there you go. You got yourself a banner to kit bash. Right. And then this would be the fifth model in this three spruce set the fifth body all right and all these different options see look you have all these different options for heads right 20 heads in each of these boxes 10 sisters of slaughter and 10 witch elf heads so if you need heads you got tons of heads and you got all this different hair right look at that that's awesome i really like this kit and then like i said this is a duplicate of this one I really like this kit because of that, that it has all these different bits that you can use to kit bash. 
if you're not actually building these to play uh, in Age of Sigma, right? But if you're like, let's say you're a 40k player and you need a bunch of cultists, these look like crazy ass cultists. You just got to find yourself some guns from another kit elsewhere and put them on these and then you're set. So there's instructions. You can make the banner, the standard bearer, right? Here's the normal witch elves with the double blades. Really badass looking, right? Here's the stats, right? And then, oh, no, you don't want to do witch elves. You want to do sisters of slaughter. This particular battle line unit, like I said, the, the, these are the only two battle line units for the uh, Daughters of Cain uh, faction in Age of Sigma, right? So it's either sisters of slaughter or witch elves. Oh, look at that. Right, very evil or devilish looking with these masks. So you can say, hey, you want to make a, a one standard bearer for the entire unit of 10. Then, you know, there are, two, there are two flags in here, two standards in here in this kit. Right. So one of them you're not going to use and instead you're going to put a whip on it instead right if you're going to make all 10 models for this particular unit cool there you go all right and this is the stat block or the data sheet for the sisters of slaughter and there you go that's it so this is a real simple unboxing of a kit that i really use all the time when i make my cultists or you know just it's it's really cool my harlequins i love using this kit there's another kit that i will unbox and review slightly uh, in another video that I also like to use to kit bash. But otherwise, uh, if I made a mistake in anything I said about Age of Sigmar, like I said, I'm not really sped up on the rules of Age of Sigmar. For those of you who play it, if I said anything wrong or made a mistake, please correct me in the comment section. If you find it interesting to get this to kit bash into something for Warhammer 40k, right? Leave a comment. Uh, otherwise, like and subscribe to this particular video and my channel. Thank you all very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. And until next time, Grim out.